space, the final frontier. The Starship Enterprise had the country buzzing back in the 1960s, I remember that. Today, it's another out-of-this-world experience. It is estimated that some 600,000 people will visit Indiana for the upcoming solar eclipse, but what are some of the smaller cities throughout the state doing to get ready for the big event? Mary Rachel Redman here now with details. Well, T minus one week and a day or two and counting until the celestial event of the century hits the Hoosier skies and cities across the state gearing up for some what some describe as their Super Bowl in space. In fact, Bloomington even landed Captain Kirk. Uhura? Nothing, Captain. If she's here, she's rigged for a silent running. It's an event of astronomical proportions, something not lost on Star Trek star William Shatner. Reverse engine. Who will be in Bloomington for the total solar eclipse at IU's Hoosier Cosmic Celebration. Well, the sun is going to be eclipsed. That alone is a monumental event. And, you know, I mean, uh, it happens every year. The sun gets in the way of the sun every year. But it affects some narrow part of the Earth, so that the next one uh, over uh, Indiana will be like 100 years from now. We'll all be dead. I might not be, but you guys are going to be dead the next time. So it's a, it's a, an, it's an, it's a, an event. But when you ponder the mystery, if you ponder what's taking place in the heavens, it's gargantuan. Silver screen persona aside, Shatner actually knows a thing or two about space. William Shatner. In 2021, at 90 years young, he became the oldest living person to travel into space aboard Jeff Bezos's Blue Origin space shuttle. To me, the magic of the eclipse, the extraordinary events it all took in the heavenly bodies to cause this eclipse should make us ponder the mystery of existence, of our own existence, of the existence of everything else, and how unified everything is. While Shatner is seemingly waxing poetic about the upcoming eclipse, perhaps there's more there than just his theatrical expertise at work. Ah. There's no telling the kind of effect a total solar eclipse can have on a person. Everything from the oohs and ahs to applause and even some tears. Before you die, he said, you owe it to yourself to experience a total solar eclipse. Oh, it's emotional. <laughs> I can't explain why, but it is. I'm scared, honestly, it's kind of scary. Oh, this is just unbelievable. But Festival Country Indiana Executive Director Ken Kosky, well, he knew back in 2017 that the eclipse would be a big time tourism opportunity for the city of Franklin. We've been planning this for six years. I went to a conference and one of the speakers had just been through the 2017 eclipse and they provided great insight on how to have our eclipse in 2024 be successful. And the Johnson County town of 25,000 is more than ready to cash in on what's being billed as the celestial event of the century. This is kind of our Super Bowl. We expect an economic impact of up to $24 million just from one weekend. So. Uh, we're very excited to welcome people into our community. And preparing for the eclipse has also been a unifying affair for small businesses. I think I look at it as, yes, there are economic opportunities. Absolutely, they are going to abound. Um, but I also look at it as a long-term thing. I look at the people that are going to visit our city and that they're going to look at it and say, holy cow, this is a cool place. Holy cow, I would love to come back and visit. Holy cow, I'd love to live there. You know, I'd love to invest there and, and be a partner in the community. So I think I look at it from that standpoint too, not just my own personal business. It's just, it's great for our town. Yes, and the town of Franklin got me swagged out. I've got my <laughs> eclipse glasses, which by the way, are completely blacked out. Yeah. I can't see a thing Remember right now. Yeah gave me these awesome sweatshirts. They've got all kinds of stuff going on in Franklin. It's really going to be an exciting day, April yeah. 8th. Yeah, in Franklin and all over the state of Indiana. Thanks for that report.